In this lesson, we will explore the relationship between the viewport, the viewbox and the local coordinate system by using a metaphor. Let's imagine that the SVG element consists of three layers. The top layer is the viewport. The viewport initially doesn't contain any graphics and its main role to occupy the space inside the HTML, XML or SVG document. We can consider it as a placeholder. The size of the viewport is specified by the height and the width geometry properties. And its position is specified by the X and Y geometry properties. Note that the X and Y geometry properties don't affect on the outermost SVG element. I will explain why it's so later in this chapter. I have added an SVG element with a height property that is equal to 700 pixels and with a width property that is equal to 400 pixels. We can see the transparent rectangle that appears on the screen. It doesn't contain any graphics, but it occupies the space inside the HTML document. The second layer in the stack is the viewbox layer. The viewbox layer is the mask layer that hides the graphics that are on the local coordinate system layer. The third layer is the local coordinate system layer. It's a layer where the graphics lives. The only way to show the graphics that are on the drowning layer is to look through the window. This window is the view box. We can perceive the mask layer as the wall and the view box as the window in that wall, but with the only one difference. We can't move the window but we can move the view box and we can resize it. Let's examine the subject on the example. The SVG element contains the shape that we can see on the screen. Please pay more attention to the SVG element. The view box attribute is in set. When the view box attribute is in set, then the user agent uses the default values that is equal to the x, y, width and height values of the viewport. And that means that the size of the viewbox and the size of the viewport are equal. We can see the graphics inside the viewport borders. That's why you saw the graphics in the previous chapters. The viewbox didn't hide anything because it was equal to the viewport. And now let's change the rules of the game. I'm adding the viewbox attribute with a value of 0, 0, 0 and 0. The min x and min y parameters of the viewbox are the offset values. The min x parameter is offset from the left of the beginning of the local coordinate system. And the min y parameter is the offset from the top of the beginning of the local coordinate system. The two last parameters are the width and the height of the viewbox. In our example, the value of the viewbox is equal to 0, 0, 0 and 0. And that means that the top left point of the viewbox coincides with the origin point of the local coordinate system. And the width and the height of the viewbox are both equal to 0. As you can see, all the shapes have disappeared because the mask layer has no window. Before we'll go any further, let's summarize what we have learned. We use layers as a metaphor to describe the SVG element structure. We have figured out that the SVG element creates two coordinate systems. The local coordinate system is where the graphic lives and the coordinate system of the viewport. The local coordinate system is used for the graphics rendering and for the viewbox positioning. The viewbox creates a window in the mask layer through which we can see the graphics. The viewbox have the same measurement units as the local coordinate system. The layers have different roles. The viewport is the frame that play a role of placeholder. The viewbox is the hole in the mask layer. And the local coordinate system is the drowning layer. And that's all for now. Do your homework and I will see you in the next lesson.